Christopher Levy, she's the director of Sisters Inc. and Mr. Christopher Brown, general manager of Strategic Services Division at the DBJ. Let us talk some more about the awesome work that you're doing. So let's start with you, Mr. Brown. What is the significance of offering this grant to small businesses, medium-sized businesses in Jamaica? All right, thank you. Um, so this specific grant is for businesses involved in innovation. So it's not just any small business that is doing regular operations. We want people to think about new ways of doing a particular product or providing a service mm -hmm. or creating new products that don't exist in the market. So the, what we realize is that companies find it difficult to innovate because there's a lot of research and development that takes place. And it's hard to get capital to do that type of innovation, whether you're building um, an application or a platform or just a new product. So the grant is really to help those at the idea stage to carry that idea a little further or those who are in business to really scale up so that they're able to get capital from other sources. So it's primarily about innovation, right. innovative businesses and solutions. So it's about innovation and therefore it doesn't matter what the product or the process is as long as there's an element of innovation. That's, that's correct. So it's not innovation equal IT business. No, no, no. So it's not solely for IT business. Cause, so you could have a, a, a new sauce or jam that is using a new product. Right. Um, that could be something that classifies as an innovation or a new machine yeah. that is being used for maybe cultivation or to process a particular um, product. Again. Right. If it doesn't exist or it isn't being used locally, yes. then it would be considered as an innovation. I'm happy for the, the, the distinction and the clarification of what innovation really means because so often we hear the word innovation and we think IT, robotics. web development, robotics, apps, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's broader than right, that. Right, right. So we still want to appeal to those doing the robotics <laughs> and the, but yeah. it's not limited it's to, to them. Yeah. How yeah. much money will you be giving in so grants? So we have two different grant categories. You can get four million or two point five million dollars um, and it would be again to bring your product to a point where it can be scaled or help it to scale. Um, so if you are currently um, you currently have 100 customers who want to help you to get to 1,000 during that period. Or maybe if you're at zero, then we can get you to 100. All right, so which takes us now to one of the most recognizable phases working <laughs> with entrepreneurs and enterprise expansion. Um, I want to link to what Chris was saying earlier. Does this also mean young? either young in terms of the business owner or young in terms of the business or at any stage can persons participate? Okay, first of all, let me just say thank you so much for having us on and thank you to DBJ for having this wonderful program mm -hmm. because it certainly helped a lot of entrepreneurs out there. Mm -hmm. um, for this particular program, they're working with startups, meaning it could be just starting the business or mm -hmm. you've been in the business up to two years, right? Right, okay. and so that's the kind of um, person that we're dealing with, and we can also deal with young people who are stepping into that space. All right, so, so it's really primarily is the age of the business. Yes, the age of the business, not the age of the individual. Okay, okay yes. good. Yes. good. So, so we don't want to limit it to the age <laughs> of the individual at all. What is the role of your company with the DBJ for this program? Okay, so with the Ignite program, what Sisters Inc. will do, and the other BSI is the business support incubators. Yes. Yes, is that we will be um, getting entrepreneurs in our space, preparing them for a pitch that they will do to DBJ to see if uh, um, they will be willing They'll to be get selected. the grant or selected to get the grant. And then after that, we will work with them and prepare them to make sure that they meet the different milestones, et cetera, so they can actually get the funding and just getting them ready to so take on market. So mentorship element. So serious so mentorship and good. coaching in that space. Yeah. So is it once I apply, I meet with you and you help me through this stage or is after you have reviewed all your applications, then they go over to the well, incubators? Well, we have six incubators and they are who we, applications are to be made. So okay. you don't come to DDJ directly to, make that, to, to apply for the grant. You go to, through these six BSIs to apply for the grant. Once you get to Assisters Inc., which is one of the BSIs, they will help you through the application process and then it comes to DBJ. So they will submit probably 10 companies. Uh, we're looking for 30 in total. Three zero. 30 yes. for the program. So it has grown compared to last, last year. year. Yes. Yes. How many yes. about last yes. year? Um, we did, tw I think at the end we had 25 companies. Um, to be honest, if we could get 40, we would love to get 40, but 
All of that is a function of how much grants we are giving out. Mm -hmm. um, but Sisters Inc. as well as the other BSRs will be able to help you to get access to the grant. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Yeah. So only the, the persons who are ready to be to for the pitch will actually interact with the rest of the process. Right. So we will, right. So we will actually guide them through that process. So we'll send an application in, guide them through the, getting them prepared and ready for the pitch, so awesome. that it blow them away, <laughs> and then they will be able to get the grant funding. And quickly before we have to close, what happened to the winners last year? Tell me about some of the success stories. Well, uh, what I'll, one thing I'll say is that the five of the companies last year went on to actually access additional capital, whether that's from angel investors, equity investors, or actually getting loans um, to expand their businesses. So it, it's a good platform to build businesses so that they're able to grow and, and you know, really employ more people and be more productive and contribute to the GDP of the country. Mm -hmm. What's the timeline for application? Final question this morning. So it will be open for six weeks after the 19th of July. So yeah. I think that takes us to, let's say, the end of August or maybe the September. first week in September. Mm -hmm. Right. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Something else to do with your summer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you very much, Thank Monique you. and <laughs> Opal. <laughs> My apologies. That's okay. <laughs> for joining us We're this morning. We're up on a break. More CV Matt Sunrise when we come back. Okay.